Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft server Let's Play series, where in today's episode we are back on Hypixel and we are starting this video in the arcade games section, right in the compass down here at, uh, where is it? Where is it? There, Arcade Games, the slime ball. And the game that we're going to be playing today is called Blocking Dead. And what this game basically is about, you play with um, a maximum of 24 other players. You will download a resource pack very quickly, um, I guess depending on your internet connection. <laughs> um, and what this game basically is, it's a zombie survival game thing where you spawn on a map. This is the waiting lobby in a plane. You spawn on a map at a crashed plane and then you have to walk around a small city looting chests and stuff like that. You will primarily be going after ammo, food and medical supplies and those are the only supplies that you can find actually. And you are then trying to survive as long for as long as possible. Um, players are not your enemies, you will in the end be needing to teamwork as much as possible, do as much teamwork as possible. Um, you can just run off if you want to at the start of game but after seven minutes surviving after surviving seven seven minutes you will then be called to a specific point on the map where all players will have to meet and then they have to defend that place from the zombies now the zombies has been um enhanced um somewhat sometimes they can do giant leaps but i think that's only later in the game after surviving for a while um there are guns in the games. There are three guns, pistol, um, automatic machine rifle, and then there are a shotgun. And those are the ammo that you're going to be searching for. You also get a knife, but it's used pretty quickly. Um, also, headshots count. So if you shoot in the head of a zombie, it will die immediately with a pistol, for example. While, while if you um, if you shoot at the torso, for example, it will take more than one shot. All right, I think that was a um, very quick description. Hope it was understandable. If you have questions, feel free to blah, blah, blah. feel free to put your question down in the comments below. And I will just wait for um, yeah for the game to start. So stay tuned. Let me just have a seat. There we go. All right, stay tuned. All right, we are starting in 10 seconds. I kind of missed the minimum amount of players required. Okay, right when I say it, it's 18. You require a minimum of 18 players before the game can start. Personally, I think they could have put it much lower than that, maybe at 12 players or at least 16 players. I think 18 might be a little too much because then this happens if there aren't that many players playing it. But that's how they've made it and now I have to wait even longer. Uh, 18, okay, good. I think it's a little too high for a minimum of amount of players for this game. I think 12 would be a suited, um, suited, suited, a suited number, but well, I think actually I will make a um, a suggestion on the forums. I might do that after this video. Anyways, I'll be back once the game has actually started, unless it's starting right now in five seconds, which I... nope. I'll be back. Uh. Okay, now we are starting. So we are 22 people, and as you can see here, we now have a pistol, we have an M16, and we have a shotgun. And so here is the place you spawn, down here is my food, health pack and some ammo and now we just basically have to go around the map and loot it for chests. Um, zombies will very soon start spawning and we have to basically survive for as long as possible. I've played this game a little bit but not too much. So here is a chest for example with a bunch of chicken, a pistol ammo and M16 ammo. We have some down here and as I said, you can team up with people, like stick with people. Um, maybe if you have a party or something going on, you can make like a whole group. Um, some players just go, like they stay for themselves. Um, some people help each other out, like stay in groups. I like helping a few people on my way, but other than that, I usually just run and look for loot. Um, 
again you will have to team up in the end otherwise you will all die and really it's best teaming with with other players like staying in groups because you can protect each other way better than if you're just alone believe me and this place is a terrible place to be um yeah don't go in that may um maze it's horrible okay you take all that uh we have zombie let's defend so here you can see i get headshots and they die immediately with the pistol the pistol is my favorite weapon i'd say um because i can get pretty accurate shots with it you also get points from um from kills whoa and it's also pretty accurate <laughs> oh sorry um rapid fire now i can eat my or drink my health potion helps if I can aim and also they are pretty fast sometimes sometimes they get like a speed boost thing and you have to preserve your ammo as much as possible um, because you will burn through it pretty quickly so here we are a group of four people just sticking together here hit the zombie there we go um, yeah we are still four people and if a player dies, that player becomes a zombie, and I don't know if they actually um, become, like, stronger or something. I really don't like the M60 that much, because I feel like it takes way too much ammo um, to kill a zombie. Sometimes you can get, like, um, headshots, but... Yeah, I just don't like it that much. My pis the pistol and the shotgun is my absolute favorite. Also, the knife is an instant kill thing. Oh, a bunch more ammo. There we go. Whoa. There. See? One. One hit kill. Whoa. Yeah. Also, you have to be really careful that you don't get stuck in the corner like that because then you're pretty doomed oh someone just killed my zombie good well i'll just get into another game that i waited for around what 10 minutes 7 minutes okay i don't know how long but i'll just um get right back into a new game and we'll see what happens so stay tuned all right the next match is starting and i glitched for some weird reason but that's okay so I'm going to hmm I usually go to the barn but you know what let's go this way for once let's go to the bank and let's see what we can find here um, yeah the last game didn't go too well but I was for the most part explaining oh glass um, I was for the most part explaining about uh, stuff about the game as like that and I don't know where that came from um okay that's weird i'll just leave that be <laughs> and i will have to find some loot now because i haven't found anything so far um so yeah in the last match i really used a lot of time explaining the the game so now i can more concentrate about the game itself and so far i haven't found in oh there we go. Plenty of stuff. Oh, got a zombie behind you. Whoa. I don't want to die again. So, the bank, I guess, is a place where you have to be really careful because it's tight corners and corridors and stuff like that and a lot of objects in your way. So, um, yeah, be careful where you go. Like here there we go and we have something here did something there did 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 the shotgun is really good at close quarters as well because it's like inst instant instant kill um oh. kill that and kill that one too let's just get some ammo here there we go whoa Okay. Oh, let's help this person over here. That should do the trick. Oh, no. I don't think you can actually kill other players 
So that's a good thing, I suppose. I try helping people where I can. Like if someone's... If a zombie is sneaking up on them or something. And sometimes you can get some really epic battles where two people are surrounded and they just sh keep shooting left and right. And apparently there was a chest here, but I didn't see it. You can sometimes get headshot with this thing. Um, but sometimes it really hard. Okay, get out of here. Come on, I need what's in that chest. Oh dear. You know what, I don't think this place is that safe anymore. Yeah, see, some of them is now starting to jump. Uh, come on. Okay, run, 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 run. Run. And I need to equip or use the health pack. There we go. And eat. And whoa, that's a dead guy. Phew. Also, when other players die, sometimes they um, drop their some of their ammo and stuff like that. I feel like some of the map is glitched. They didn't die. Now they are. Damn. Um, if you look to the right there, at the GUI thing, um, time to rescue three minutes, and that when that timer is um, is is at zero. It will tell you a location where you have to go, um, which is the last place that you will make a stand. And there you have to survive for some time as well. Um, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. And the farther down the timer goes, the more dangerous it becomes, more zombies, and also they start to leap. And stuff like that, so... Whoa, that's a lot of zombies. Uh, you know what? Not worth it. Uh, do I have more ammo? Yes, I have more pistol ammo. That's good. Always have a health pack ready in your inventory. We are three people here. That's close together anyway, so that's... Good. Oh, nice one. Um, we are four people, actually. Just gonna cover our backs here a little bit. Looks like I'm not alone doing it. You can also drop resources to other players. Alright, buddy, let's go. Keep going. This is usually the place that you'll get... I think this is the place that you will get um, called towards. And now I need to drink a health pack. I got separated from my group. A player over there died, and I have a ton of zombies after me, and I'm dead, I think. Yeah, I'm totally dead. <laughs> Shotgun out. In these situations, it's a good idea to get out the shotgun. Uh, where is the exit of this place? Whoa! Yeah, I'm dead. One more hit him, and I'm dead. Uh, come on, I need an exit. I need an exit. Actually, I need to drink my health pack before another zombie comes around. Uh, oh dear. Yes, I'm out. Phew! <sighs> oh, a bunch of stuff. Someone died here. Oh no, but I got a bunch of health packs, that's good. Um, there we go, rescue is coming, get to the bank to escape the blindness. Okay, it was wrong when I said that the island is where you usually get called to. I'll just eat a health pack real quick. Whoa. And equip the next one and get to the bank. And then you have to survive over there for some time and, well, don't die. <laughs> okay, the bank is over here. This is where the rest of the players are, which is four. Um, don't know where everyone else are, but, um, whoa. Oh, no. I don't think going inside is bad. Is a good idea. Um, oh, I see some more items here. I see a baseball bat. Um don't know how useful this is. No zombies here, though. Survive for three minutes till help arrives. Where are the other? Oh, there's another player. Good. I'm not totally alone. 
let's battle these players or zombies i'm going to use the baseball bat and i feel like this is really loud so i don't i hope it's not too loud for anyone else let's just you know what very quickly get it to that there we go i feel like that was too loud sorry <laughs> um um, you've been hit with blindness toxin. Get to the rescue zone to avoid it. Okay, so I cannot go out too far. We have to defend the bank. Okay. Yeah, I cannot even go out there. Um, looks like we are two people protecting this place here. We have to... One, we actually have to defend two, like, points on the map. Also, I have to eat so I can run. Okay, only three players remaining. I have a bunch of pistol ammo, so I don't think we're in that bad of shape. Okay, we'll play that area. Also, again, the pistol is good for like um, headshots. I guess the M16 is good for stuff like this where it's just too many for you to handle at once. And the M16 is a good way of getting rid of a lot of zombies at once. But I'm just going to drop him a bunch of health packs in case you need them. Oh, come on. We can survive this. Hopefully. Shotgun out. Clear the entrances. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Oh no, he died. Oh no, yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Well, I got first place even though I. Got killed by a bunch of zombies, and there's my and there's my zombie. <laughs> GG though. Um, I got first place. Not too bad. We hold out as long as we could. Um, but it wasn't easy. So we were two like two players remaining at the end, which just apparently isn't enough for holding back all the zombies. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I was. Yesterday I was playing, I think it was seven players that was um, on the island, and we hold out pretty good. It was pretty hard, but we hold out pretty good. Players kept dying, but we ended up um, a bunch of us surviving in the, at the end. Um, but it is hard to survive for three minutes where there just comes more and more and more zombies and they get faster and stuff like that. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends, and if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time, where I think we are going to be playing some more arcade games. Because um, in the last day or two, I have been trying these um, out these different arcade, some of these different arcade games out, and I think they are pretty fun, so I think I will be making some more videos of them. Also, I'm not done with Blocking Dead. It's cool. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.